I'm going to discuss a few basic concepts and also uh, review some things we said in the past so you're ready to work on a couple of the in-class homeworks for this class or the class on uh, next or this Wednesday. Um, this is what we uh, studied before, radial flow in unconfined aquifers. And remember that this is for uh, steady state flow. And 90% of the effort in solving these problems is really figuring out what the variables mean. So it's important that you know this, because in the exam or in the FE exam, you cannot ask what is what. And everything will be in words. So you need to understand what those mean. So we saw this in the last class. And this is the problem um, that um, you uh, solved or started to solve in the last class. And let's start reading each one of the elements here so we know uh, we can define which variables we have given. So uh, it's a 95 thick unconfined aquifer. So this here is the depth. So this is the thickness of the aquifer. So H0 is 95 feet. And it's penetrated by an 8-inch diameter well. So the diameter of the well is 8 inches, or the radius of the well, then it's 4 inches, which equals 4 over 12, or 0.33 feet. Uh, the pump. Uh, pumps at a rate of 50 gallons per minute. So this is Q is 50 gallons per minute. But as you can see, we're talking in terms of feet. And you can either have it in uh, the coefficient of probability in feet per second or feet per minute. So we're going we're gonna to use feet per second. And we'll do this. Um, conversion here, so we have 1 cubic feet is 7.48 gallons. So the gallons cancel, and 1 minute is 60 seconds, so the minutes cancel. So we have a flow of approximately 0.111 uh, cubic feet per second. So that's another one of our variables. And then it says that the drawdown at the well, so the drawdown at the well is 3.5 feet. Now, remember that the drawdown at the well would be the H0 minus the HW. So the H0 was 95 foot. And if this is 3.5 feet, what we have here is an H W, or the basometric level or depth uh, of uh, 91.5 feet. Uh, the radius of influence is 500 feet, and this is the R naught. So the R naught is 500 feet. And we need to determine the drawdown. So the question is, so this is the given, and calculate the drawdown at 80 feet. Now, if we look at this expression, we have the Q, we have H0, HW, R0, RW. Um, but we don't have the K. If we were going to look at this expression, so this is what's been asked, what it would be the drawdown, I mean, not the drawdown, but the depth at 80 feet. Um, so we have an observation well that can be anything. And this, too, any well you use, whether it's at the uh, well or at any other point of the observation well, and then this would be uh, that distance of 80 feet. So we don't know this or this. So we have two unknowns here. So first, we'll have to calculate the uh, coefficient of permeability. And that's what uh, we will do. Again, uh, what I'll do is just summarize 
the information um, that we have. So we have Q equals 0.111 cubic feet per second. We have um, an RW of 0.33 feet, and then the H W was uh, 91.5, and R naught uh, was 500 feet, and H naught was 95 feet. And so we can uh, at least proceed with calculating the coefficient of transmissivity, or I mean, sorry, that's for confined, the coefficient of permeability. <laughs> so Q equals pi K H naught squared minus um, H W squared divided by the natural logarithm of R zero over R W. So um, basically, we solve for the coefficient of uh, permeability, and this problem is given in your book. Oops. So this is point zero 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 four, and this is in feet per second. Now that we have that coefficient, then we can use the second expression to calculate um, the drawdown at 80 feet. So um, the expression would be um, H equals, and this is, let me put numbers for this equation. So this is a expression C point six, seven point nine, and then now I'll give you 7.10 from the book, okay? So you have uh, an observation well plus Q. Uh, oh, no, that is for, give me just a minute. In the book, they start with the um, uh, confined and then do the unconfined, but um, I did it uh, differently. So, mm. let's take a look at this. Yeah. Zero. And this is not 7.9. This is not 710. So what we have here, uh, squared. Seven point fourteen. And then this would be 7.16. So we have a Q um, OK. So now that we have the value of K, now what we need to make sure is that um, whatever value you use for um, the observation well, let's say that you decide to use this as your RW, then this would be your HW, or if it's any value, it doesn't necessarily have to be at the well, you just do the substitutions, and in this case the answer um, for H, as we substitute, must be 94.1 feet, but the question is the drawdown, okay? And this can be catchy, because in the FE, they'll ask you for the drawdown, but then give you 
um, the value, okay? And so we have um, a drawdown of 95 minus 94.1, which is 0.9 feet, okay? So make sure that you understand that 90% of your effort goes into defining those variables, okay? Now, when we have multiple wells, again, it's the same situation where we have to make sure that uh, we understand what the variables are. And remember, OB is observation um, well, and RW would be the radius of the well. And uh, so we have uh, this is for one well, and for multiple wells, then you have the H for that well. And what happens is that you'll have several observation wells, okay? So let me draw a figure, for example, here. So let's say that I have well one and well two, okay? And I have an observation well here and another observation well here. So we have the distance from one to that observation well, we'll call this zero, this is R one zero, okay? And then this would be here R one, and then we have two other distances, so we have, this is the re distance from two to zero, and this would be just the distance from that well two. So that's what you need to, to keep in mind. So these are the distances. So if we have here the observation well, the either that or, or the observation well zero, and then we'll have here, um, observation well 1, and then here is H2 and H1. So this is very, very important to understand this. We will not make it more complicated than two wells uh, and two observation wells. If we have more than that, we would use the software, okay? So let's take a look at this example, and uh, as I said, you know, figuring out what is what is the 90% of the work. So try and invest time in this first part. So we have two wells here, so let's call this well one and then well two. And so I'm going to write it here, so Q1 is 3,000 cubic meters per day, and Q2 is 500 cubic meters per day. Remember, we're talking steady, steady state and, and uh, constant flow. So um, the steady state head measured at an observation well. Here, this is the observation well, so H0B equals 40 meters. And this observation well is located 50 meters from well one. And um, 64 And let me go back. Let me, yeah, let's 